Good morning, hello, welcome. I am about to go out the door to go to work and then after work I've got my audition and this is how I'm going to my audition. I'm wearing my green skirt with this and I feel a bit rogue. I have never gone to an audition looking like this. I've never had my hair like this. I've never worn clothes like this. I usually wear like my red dress usually. So it feels very odd and I don't know if what I've done is right but it's for a short film rather than a show so I don't feel like I need to be as you know, fancy I suppose, but I don't know. I feel incredibly bad about leaving work early. I hate it, but I get it. And luckily I've got a fabulous colleague who said they'd cover me. So I'm gonna head off and I will see you all later. Bye. Hello, I had a great time. I'm quite tired now and I really don't deserve to be, but we'll get to that in a minute. Work was perfect. Work was so easy this morning, it was so chill. And then I was going to leave at 12.30. My colleague was going to come in to cover me at 1.30. And just by chance, no one wanted those slots in that time period. So it wasn't even, I didn't feel as guilty about leaving. I got to the audition totally on time. I got there around, I think, 10 past one. Had a great time at the audition. It was so much fun. I, I, think, I don't know if I mentioned this already. I just loved the script. And genuinely, even if nothing comes of this, I had a great time. So I'm grateful for that. And we did it a few different ways and it was just interesting and fun and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And then I came home and I decided to take the bus, which took about an hour and a half. And I think that's why I'm tired. And it was raining or like it was a long walk to the bus and it was raining a lot, but also actually to the audition, it was raining the whole day. It's been raining. And I didn't bring a coat because I didn't think it was going to rain because it's been grey the last few days and not rained and it's still been quite hot. But actually the temperature was still fine, it was just wet, but I don't mind the rain so it was fine. But I hadn't had lunch so by the time I got back it was around 3.30 I would say and I've just had two pears for lunch because our bread's gone off. I thought we had soup and we don't seem to, or at least I can't find it, and I just didn't really feel like making anything and to be honest so far the pears have really satisfied my needs and I've got some tea which I am waiting to cool down but certainly in the mood for so all in all so far a really good day and now I've got the evening free which is nice and I'm trying to figure out what I need to do I'm expecting a call I said anytime after four so we'll wait and see if and when that happens but aside from that I'm not really sure. I think I need to clear my laptop up a bit. I think the space is, I've because I've still got all my Spain videos there because I'm trying to make my family Spain holiday videos and because I have so many unedited videos and things that I film and then save for later, there's just a lot that's clogging up the space. Oh, and I need to do the stuff for university. And I think I mentioned yesterday or at some point about the fact that I filmed these things for my old school. And today someone requested permission for them because I'd sent it, you know, online. And it was the director from all our school musicals and everything. And it just made me, I don't know, I don't know, happy is not the right word, sad's not the right word. It just was like, ah. And it's just, I'm feeling very nostalgic for the performing arts side of things at my school. I had a really good time. I loved my school. I loved school anyway, but I'm very grateful for the experiences I had. And I'm sad. I don't know if I mentioned this the other day, but I had a dream that a whole cast... No, I did mention this about Baskerville. Anyway, that's all. I, 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 I like the way I've put myself together today. I have no idea if it was right for the audition or not, but hey-ho. Oh, and at the end of the audition, they said, oh, you know, just so you know, the character wears contact lenses. Is that going to be a problem for you? And I said, well, no, I've not worn contact lenses before, so I don't know, but I presume it'll be okay. I guess we'll find out. And then I went, or not. And then I walked away. So I am an awkward human being, is all I'll say. Anyway, I feel the need to just, oh, stretch out my back, I think. I don't know if you can hear the clicks, but they're there. My phone buzzed. Who's that gonna be? Oh, it's an email. All right, well, that's all. Goodbye. Hello. In a last minute change of plans, so I'm trying to get my shoes on. I am going to the theatre and I'm literally leaving right now. And I found out about 20, maybe half an hour ago, maybe 20 minutes ago, someone was giving away free tickets. And originally I wasn't sure, 
even though they were free. And then I saw that it was a play and it's only an hour and a half long and I was like, well, I can't say no to that. Because originally the reason why I was like, not sure about it was because I'm already, as I mentioned, a bit tired. But for free and an hour and a half, and it sounds really interesting actually. It's not a play I've heard of. I think it's called Minority Report and I will report back to you on how it is. Oh, and my watch has broken again and it's driving me mad. So I think I'm just gonna buy a cheap digital watch that for some reason lasts much better than these watch bands. I enjoyed the show, but I'm glad I went to see it for free. And I'm shocked that there were no advertisements. Like I had not heard anything about this play. I loved that it was only an hour and a half long. I loved the sets. I loved the costumes. There was one character specifically, the AI type character that I thought was fantastic. I, I enjoyed the premise of it. I don't think it was executed as excellently as it could have been which is a shame because I thought the premise of it was genius and they obviously had a big budget that being said I was trying to think how how would I do it differently and I I wouldn't even know where to begin but all in all I had a good evening I am glad as I say I'm glad I went to see it I love my outfit today just the whole way I look and I'm presenting myself makes me very happy but it does all need to go in the wash and it probably wasn't perfect for a rainy day in London, but hey ho. That is all for now. I may talk about it more in this vlog. I may talk about it more in my favorites or reviews nowadays. And I probably will talk about it more at the end of the year when I do a theater wrap up like I did last year, which you can watch up here. And I will see you probably not tomorrow, but at some point, I'm really glad with how my hair's cooperated. That's just made me very happy. And I think the rain helped actually, even though it's a bit here. See you later. Bye. Hello. I'm not planning on filming much, uh, but we've had an interesting weekend. I mean, it's Saturday night. It's not been that long. But yesterday when I came home, some stuff unfolded and it wasn't fun at all. But what it did result in, the thing that happened wasn't fun. I'm not going to go into details of it, but it was not good. But what came because of it was really lovely and just a reminder of how connected we all are and how much support surrounds you and what people do in times of hardships and it's beautiful and I'm holding on to that. I was gonna share some stuff with you yesterday, not much, but I was planning on just having a quick chat to you when I came home from work before Shabbat but then everything unfolded and I didn't. Number one is that yesterday and today I've been wearing a ring. As you may know, if you've been following along in recent vlogs and basically since the start of this year, I'm really trying to incorporate more jewellery into my everyday life, which I have to say has been going well. I've been enjoying it. And just in general, I've been trying to have more fun with fashion and I've really been doing that. I feel very positive about fashion in general this year. But rings have always been a big, uh, let's, let's not go there. I think in part, I've got quite small hands and fingers. I mean, they're not tiny, but you know, they're not normal either. And I don't spend money on stuff. I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy stuff. I don't wear, I, until this year, I didn't wear much jewelry anyway. I had one ring when I went back to Australia, I think it was last year in April that I found and that I did wear a bit. And that was a little teddy bear ring that I've had since Holland, since I was a child, but it started getting like rusty or whatever. I don't know when I was wearing it every day. So then I stopped wearing it and this one. So basically what happened was I got a lot of rings when I did my hand modeling thing years ago and they have been in a bag untouched for years, except one. There is one plain silver band that again, I would occasionally wear on my index finger and maybe my thumb. But again, I could tell the more I was wearing it because it was from Primark, it was like two pounds and it was a set. Of course, they're not good quality. They're not going to last long. But yesterday I was wearing, uh, I can't even remember what I was actually wearing clothes wise, but I was wearing my necklace that I got from my mum for my birthday last year, which is a silver circle. And it's basically, I don't know how well you can see this, like an enhanced version of one circle here. 
So I just thought it'd be fun to wear a matching ring. And do you know what? To begin with, I was like, absolutely not. I'm hating this. But one thing I've realised about myself, and it's something I've actually realised, I realised it on the ship last year, and then I realised it even more when I've been editing videos where I am wearing necklaces, is that I like to have something to touch. It's probably just an anxiety thing. But when I'm wearing my necklace, I'm moving it around. And so with my ring, I really like either taking it on and off or spinning it or, you know, making sure it's in exactly the right place, like facing the exact way or even just like moving it around on my finger. So I enjoyed that aspect of it. And it did, I did warm up to it as the day went on. And as I say today, I didn't wear any other jewellery because I was in a rush to leave the house, but I thought I can pop on a ring. And I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of this ring in general. I mean, I'm not a fan of rings in general, but this one, I think it's a bit too big for my liking and it doesn't fit perfectly comfortably on my finger. Like when I do this, it drops down and I keep panicking that it's gonna fully fall off, but it doesn't yet. So that's been, that's been, I think the biggest update of the last 24 hours. And maybe I will wear more rings. I think one of my reasons for doing this was just to find a way to wear these rings that I would never otherwise wear. And I liked wearing this with the necklace because it did match. So I think I'm gonna have a bit more fun trying to find a ring that matches, you know, whatever I'm wearing otherwise and trying to find a place for it on one of my fingers, not the ring finger because that is for marriage because I'm very traditional, even though I don't really want to get married, but I just feel putting a ring on that finger, not that it feels like bad luck, but it feels unfair to other people because it makes you look. To me, when I see someone with a ring on their ring finger on either hand, I'm like, are you engaged? Are you married? And I just don't want to give anyone that impression. <laughs> Not that I want anyone to ask me out either. As I said, demi-romantic, demi-sexual, please leave me alone. So there's that. The other thing is that I got an email. I can't remember if it was Thursday night or Friday morning, but I got an email from my professor from university asking to display some of my work, which is awesome and very exciting. And exactly, I th maybe, maybe I spoke about this already. I don't know if I did, but either way, very exciting. And so I need to do a little bit of work for that just to tweak some things, but I am delighted. What else is new? I really want to clear up some space on my laptop. I think I mentioned this already. So I need to clear up some space and I need to edit a vlog. Actually, I need to edit a few different videos because we are now getting to that stage of only being about two or three weeks behind, which is mental. And suddenly I'm like, oh my goodness. By the way, I don't know if you can see, this is already getting a tinge. I don't think you can see it. It kind of just looks like it's a reflection of my hand, but it's not. Anyway. And then the only other thing I want to mention is that tomorrow I've got another audition, which I'm looking forward to, but I'm also nervous about. And my plan, this is, this is the plan in theory. We'll see what happens. In the morning, I, as you can see, my hair is a bit gross and dead, but in the morning I'm going to do two plaits because I want to do that for the audition and also to make my hair look somewhat reasonable. I will bring clothes with me to work because I'm going to go straight from work to the audition. And then there's two things I would like to try and do in the evening if I can and I'm not feeling too stressed. Number one is cut my hair finally because if it's in two plaits already, it's just a matter of going snip snip and it's so desperately needed. And number two is to finally go back to gymnastics. It will depend a bit what time I get home from the audition because if the time between the audition and getting home is too short to then go out again, I don't want to be stuffing myself or going without any food because I won't have eaten anything for a while. But if the timing works out, I really, really want to go. And I'm nervous about going. I don't want to go because I'm scared because I'm sure I'm so unfit and so unflexible. Inflexible, whatever the word is. But that's why I have to go. And that's why I do want to go at the same time. It's confusing. But I haven't gone since the clocks changed, which means Every time I went, it was dark when I left, let alone when I came back. And now it should still be light when I come back, which is amazing. <laughs> How to tell someone's a woman who's scared of walking in the dark. So that is the plan for tomorrow. I will not take you along for most of it, I presume, but I will try and let you know what happens with everything. And if I do cut my hair, I would really like to try and film that. And then I think I will end this vlog after tomorrow because I think it's gonna be quite long. I could be mistaken. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna have a look at what is on my computer at the moment and where I've ended the last vlog. We shall see. 
and I have no idea what time it is now. It's probably quite late because we're now getting to that point where Shabbat goes out so late. So I will probably not be staying up too long. At least I'll try not to because I want to be up early tomorrow to get to work on time and also be calm about being prepared for the audition, including getting makeup and hair and everything sorted. Although I will try and pick out my clothes and jewelry tonight. Yay. Oh, can I say one more thing? Actually two more things. Number one, is the second thing I remembered, which is that I was speaking to my aunt and my grandma today about something, and I'm gonna be making a whole video about it because I realized I have a lot of resentment that I still have after many years of something. So I wanna talk about that because I think it's gonna be good for me, therapeutic. So look out for that one. And I cannot remember number two, which was actually number one. Well, if I remember, I'll come back. Oh yes, number two is that Spotify has been driving me mad the last few days because I will put it on shuffle on my big playlist that has over a thousand songs from lots of different genres and it will play either the same artists, about seven to ten songs in a row, or the same genre. So I'll get seven to ten Eurovision songs or seven to ten musical songs and I want variety. That's why I've hit shuffle. So I've been getting a bit annoyed about that. Anyway, that's all. I'll see you later. Bye. Hello, it's just past six. I came back from my audition around 5.30, so actually it was amazing. I mean, the audition itself wasn't great, but it was okay. And it was a lovely, I mean, all the people were lovely. Just my own audition wasn't great, but hey ho, it's done. But this is the first time that I can remember showing up to an audition early. That's not the first time showing up to an audition early. I always do, but it's the first time I actually got to go in early. And it's probably the only time I didn't really want to <laughs> because I get to auditions usually very early, usually like an hour before if I can. And then I usually end up waiting an hour, which is totally fair enough. And in that hour, I have a chance to potentially warm up, to go through my lyrics, to just make sure everything is good, that I feel comfortable, I'm ready, I'm hydrated, everything. Today, today I got to my audition about 25 minutes early. So by my standards, late. And they took my measurements. And I sat down and literally half a minute later, someone came up to me saying they were the MD and that they wanted to have a look at my sheet music so that we were ready to go in because I was the next one in. I was like, okay. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't practice very much for this audition. There was the one element I did practice a lot, but the other two that they were just my own songs. I just thought I was so confident with them that I wouldn't need to. And to be fair, I didn't mess up. Like I got all the lyrics right. I didn't, you know, mess anything up in that sense, but I could feel that I wasn't as confident because I hadn't run through it before. So I would have liked just, you know, five minutes to just double check on my own lyrics, but hey ho, it's fine. And as I say, I finished, I walked out of my audition at 4.46. My audition time slot was meant to be starting at 4.45. So I was very happy about that. Now, I'm gonna grab some fruit. I've just had a pepper, but I'm also gonna grab some fruit. I think we've got either pears or apples or both just to snack on before I go to gymnastics. And I'm gonna do that first, then I wanna get changed. And if I've still got time, which hopefully I will, I wanna cut my hair because it feels pretty perfect, pretty even. And I just wanna go and I wanna chop quite a bit off. I'm gonna take my earrings out anyway, cause that'll take no time, but I do need to get changed, obviously. I feel like the lipstick is also very bold for gymnastics. Like the eye makeup you can get away with, but I feel like the lipstick's a lot, but I'm kind of hoping it just disappears with food. We shall see, but I'm gonna go get some fruit first. Hello, I cut myself an apple on a pear. The apple was absolutely rotten. It looked okay, it didn't look great, but it looked okay, but I took a bite into it and I was like, nope, not happening. But the pear was nice. And then I decided my lipstick was still as bright as anything. So I decided to just take my makeup off as best as I could. I probably will shower anyway when I get back, but you know, it's, it's a bit more, I don't know, appropriate. And I'm basically ready to go. I'm dressed and everything. And I've got about five minutes, which may not be enough time, but we're gonna go for it. The mirror is in front of me, so I am gonna look this direction. I do think my hair is fairly even. I mean, it won't be perfect, but as I said last time, I've got curly hair and that usually disguises it enough. Right, I think that's pretty even. So I'm gonna go significantly above, like I think I'm gonna go to here or something. And I don't like it being short, but it just is so dead. I think I'm gonna turn you a bit more that way. I've got my bin here as well, because I don't wanna make too much of a mess. That is a significant amount. That's really quite a significant amount, but I'm sure it'll be, yeah, that's, significantly healthier. Oh dear. No, I didn't want to. Oh no, I shouldn't have thrown that away. Uh, that was not clever of me. 
Oh, that, I think this side's a bit shorter. Can you see that? I think it's a bit shorter, which is annoying because it means I need to cut more off, which I don't really want to do. And it's now come out of- Oh no, and I threw the ponytails away. That's a shame. Not the ponytails, the elastic bands. That is a shame. Right, I'm gonna do this over the bin. It's such a strange thing, cutting my own hair. Right, oh, it's so short. I think I went too short. Oh, it'll grow out. Right, here we go. Oh, it's so short. It's so short. Aha! Uh -huh. It's so short. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's so short. And this is it sort of semi-straightened because I had it in plaits. Wait till I wash it. Oh, we'll manage. We'll be okay. Oh, it's so short. It's so short. But I think like that, sort of sideways, it's, it's all right. No. It's not. Oh, but it's also like, it does need to be washed. It's incredibly frizzy and dry still, though it feels a lot healthier than it did. Oh, and it's not even. The front is significantly longer than the back. <laughs> Although maybe not actually from the back. You might have a better view of that. I don't know if you can see it from the angle. Um, but right, I'm gonna tie this up. It's so short, but it's done. I'm glad it's done. And now I've got time to grow it out and wash it. I think I'll wash it tonight, actually. I don't know. Oh, it's so short, but it's healthy. And, ooh, that was scary. Even if I wanted to go to the hairdresser, my local one, I'm gonna put this down. The I found one, it's taken me so long, but I finally found one that I was really happy with and not far away and not crazy expensive. And they closed like a couple of months ago. And I really can't be bothered finding another hairdresser. I think it looks bad because it's so in need of a wash and I feel like I just need to wash it and then we'll have a look at what it actually looks like. I'm sad about the elastic bands though. They were good elastic bands. I'm less sad about the hair because it'll grow out, but it is definitely an adjustment and it, it just is not even at all. Why is this so long? Oh my goodness, like look at that. Right, I need to go. We'll figure it out later. Bye. Hello, this is the post-cut, post-gymnastics hair. I've not washed my hair. I've not even showered yet. I am going to shower because I need to, but I'm not going to wash my hair tonight because it's already 10.30 and it's going to take a very long time to dry and I do not want to go to bed with wet hair. But I will wash it either tomorrow after work or Tuesday. I'm off most of the day, so I'll wash my hair in the morning. Gymnastics was really good. I really enjoyed it. When the cardio started, we always start with cardio. At first, I was doing surprisingly well. I was really impressed with myself considering I've not done any cardio in months. But by the end of it, I was like, I am dying. But that's okay, that's how I feel every week. So it didn't feel any worse, I would say, than other weeks. I mean, the stretching, I could tell. But again, my stretching wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be, considering I haven't done much for two months. And then I went back to front somersaults, as I always do. And you know what? We're getting there. I'll put in some clips of my progress so far because I was, I surprised myself. And actually, the first one I landed, I didn't record and no one saw, I thought. It was the first one I've ever landed and stayed up and, you know, been able to sort of finish like this. And I did it and I was like, I've done it. No one's seen it. And then all of a sudden from the other side of the room, someone applauded me and I was like, thank you very much. And it was someone who I've seen a couple of times, not very many, maybe two or three, but every time they've seen me try and fail to do somersaults and they are very good at somersaults so they were very supportive which I appreciated. I also spent a lot of the session like in between doing somersaults I stopped and stretched because just my whole body I could feel everything was tight and that's unsurprising so that just it felt really really good and I am very happy I went. This hair is gonna be so interesting to figure out that's all I can say about it really. I was gonna share something else about earlier but I cannot remember at all. I don't know if it was about the audition or about something else. I don't know. Look at these as well. These little, whatever they're called, flyaways. Such fun. Right, I'm gonna shower, pick up my clothes for tomorrow and go to bed. And maybe I'll remember what I was trying to say to you, but probably not. Hello, I've had a wonderful shower, although ugh, my hair's still gross, but two things. 
Number one is I remembered, no, this isn't the thing I remembered, but I just wanted to share this with you as well. I've lost another toenail. I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago, post Spain, I spoke about the fact that I had a really bad toenail injury on my foot and that was on my right foot and it was my big toe. And today at gymnastics, my left toe just, like toenail, big toenail, just wasn't happy at all with me and decided to leave me. But luckily it wasn't too painful. It was nothing too bad and it's not something I'm worried about. But the second thing, and this is the real reason I came out and wanted to speak to you, is I have just prepared my outfit for tomorrow. It is absolute chaos and I am so excited by it. Like it is the most far out I've pushed the boat, I think ever, but especially since, you know, going to work and that kind of thing. I had one outfit the other day, I think, that I felt a bit like, oh, this might be, you know, pushing the boat out a bit. But the main outfit I have created for tomorrow is... I don't know if I'm actually going to be brave enough to wear it, but I'm so excited by the thought of it. It's my white play suit with my lightning rainbow leggings. And I've not worn those leggings once since I've been back because I never know what to style them with because they are so chaotic on their own. And I don't really have many just plain tops and I wouldn't really wear a plain top. That's just not me. And I, I mean, I might put it on tomorrow and just be like, this isn't happening. But if it's like some other combinations that I've recently discovered, it could be life-changing. Maybe not quite life-changing, but absolutely, you know, a new staple in the cupboard, a new fun staple in the cupboard. And the thought of that makes me so excited. And I already thought, I think tomorrow I'm going to do two bunches because I, I never usually call them bunches, but because my hair is so short, I feel like I have to. But I just feel like that's going to be the best way to disguise how gross it is. And I genuinely don't know if I could plait it. So that is the plan. We'll see what actually ends up happening tomorrow. But I had to share that because I love the thought of it. Anyway, good night. And I will see you tomorrow, hopefully with my wonderful outfit. Bye. Hello, this is the look. I don't know what's happening here. I put a bow in my hair and just, I'm gonna live with this for today. It's absolutely not perfect, but I think it's the best I'm gonna get. I've put in, oh, you can't see it at all, purple earrings. Then I've got my one piece. I had to put a vest on though underneath, I think, for work. And my fun leggings. And I'm gonna put on my Harry Potter shoes. I'm not totally sold on it, but I'm not totally against it. But I think because the hair is causing me a bit of grief, I'm just sort of, I can't focus on the other fun bits, but I'm going for it. And I'm gonna have fun and I'm gonna look like a child at work today and I cannot wait. I mean, the truth is I sit behind a desk so people won't see my legs, but still, I'm happy about it and the hair is managing. I put some water in it just to try and get a little bit of curl in it, but it needs to be washed so desperately. So that's gonna be a tonight or tomorrow morning job. That is all, I will see you later. Hello, so a couple of things. First of all, I think just from the weather today or something, I don't know, my hair's got a bit curlier as the day's gone on and it's so short. And I'm still not a huge fan of it, but I'm gonna wait until I've washed it tomorrow to really form an opinion. The outfit today did not do what I was hoping it would do. And I think in part, maybe it was the hair, in part, maybe it was the jumper, because I was wearing my big London hoodie and I just feel like it maybe wasn't the right jumper for this outfit. But being honest with myself, I think in part, it may have just been the leggings. And I think rather than even the color of the leggings, I think it's the shape of the leggings, which is weird because you'd think all leggings are the same shape. But first of all, they are full length rather than three quarter, which is what I normally wear. And second of all, they're a different material, they're thinner. And then maybe that's something that's contributing to it. I don't know. But there are some outfits, there are some outfits where, you know, it's just myself, it's my normal stuff. There are some outfits where I'm trying something new and I actually feel really good in it like my green top and green skirt combo. And then there are some outfits like this one where I actively don't feel good in myself. Like I feel like I wanna shield myself. And that's not a nice feeling to have. Like I didn't feel, and I think the problem with the jumper more than anything is how long it is. Because this, it's a one piece with shorts at the bottom and the shorts are not super long. They're all right, but they're not, they don't go very far down. And because my jumper is so oversized, it goes down to almost as long, but it's just that awkward length where it doesn't sit, you know, it doesn't give you the full short effect and it doesn't cover it. If it covered it, I think it would be all right. I don't know, I just, there was no point at which I felt really good and confident. And it's especially a shame because this one piece on its own does give me that, that feeling. 
like I love the way I feel in this one piece I really like this thing so that's a shame considering how excited I was by the thought of it but we'll figure out a way to style these leggings we'll get there I know during covid I wore them with my light blue sort of summery dress and I did really like that and I did feel really good in that so maybe we need to revert back to that but the problem is because they are spaghetti straps on that dress I can't wear that for work and I don't think it would look as good with the long sleeve whereas the long sleeve with the white leggings under that dress did work very well I don't know I'm playing around with the fashion I'm thinking about things also I'm not wearing it now but I wore a different ring today and even when it picked it out I was like I don't like this let me grab it for you I've just put it on and it's I don't know how well you can see it it's got like a spirally thing and it gets ever so slightly thinner at the back but I think in part it's just too bulky I don't I think I mentioned this yesterday I don't like bulky rings I mean I don't really like rings in general but especially you know if I'm gonna wear them I want them to be thin it's also quite big and at first I was like oh I'm just feeling the same way as I was about this other ring but it was sort of sliding off like that I don't know if you saw that but it did fly off so it obviously doesn't whatever it is it's not as good on my finger it also, I kept wanting to have the slightly thicker side facing upwards with the slightly thinner side sort of resting on the inside, but all day at work it kept spinning round so that the thinner side was on the outside and the thicker side which was on the in inside, which was just, yeah, annoying. But I finally just now took pictures of both of these rings for wearing and I noticed when I put them side by side that that one is definitely bigger than this one. And I think when I bought this set, it was for the hand modeling thing. I may have mentioned that already. And I bought a pack from Primark that had rings for each finger. And I imagine either this one was for the thumb, although nope, that's still too big. But what I actually think is this one was probably for like the index or the ring finger. And this one was probably designed for the middle finger. But because my hands are quite small and my fingers aren't super wide, this one only fit just about around my middle finger. And this one didn't fit at all. That's my theory. I don't know if it's true. But either way, I can't see myself wearing this one very much anymore and I could maybe see myself going back to this one. But I'm glad I tried another ring and I'm making my way through them and then at the end of it hopefully I'll be able to at some point say right I'm keeping these, I'm not keeping these or whatever, I'll figure something out with them. But the truth is I probably won't go back to wearing rings after I've tested them out. I've had a really good afternoon since I got back, I was finally able to edit the vlog, which is going up in three days time because that's the time space we've got now. Although the good thing is that I actually use less clips in that vlog. So I've got an extra vlog than what I thought. So I've got a little bit more space again. I've gained some space, but I really need to get on it. That was the main thing I did this afternoon, actually. I don't think there was much else. I found a recipe for tomorrow. I'm going to try a new recipe. I cancelled my thing. I mentioned earlier that I had a thing on tomorrow. I've cancelled that. So I've got the whole day free at home, which is wonderful. And that is, I think, everything I want to share for now. I think I'm going to spend some more time editing videos because I want to not feel so stressed. And I'll probably spend that time tomorrow as well doing that. I didn't speak good English there. And I might finally try and watch something with a friend because I we've not watched any of our Marvel stuff in probably months by now because... I had uni stuff on and then I've been working and they've been working and we've just not had a chance to but maybe finally tonight maybe we will but anyway that is all I may end the vlog here this seems like a good place to end it so goodbye and I'll see you all in the next one bye